I finally made it. I finally made the mask that we've all been looking for. This thing is customizable, it's easy to make, it's reusable, it has a feature that it comes off the mouth so your mouth isn't touching the fabric, which that's good. It allows you to talk and you can even eat in it. Let me show you how it's made. For everyone that has hair, you can wear it over your hair, doesn't really depend on your hairstyle, or you can even wear it under your hair. Let's talk about the benefits first. One of the main benefits, right here, you see it's straps that you tie. So you don't have to worry about anything going over your ear. This is gonna require some sewing, but very minimum sewing. I'm talking probably under two minutes of sewing. One of the main benefits of doing this is you can use materials that you already have. I'm going to use a shirt. I'm going to make a custom template from the specs of my mouth so it's very customizable. Everyone has a different face size so everybody needs a different mask. That's the beauty of this. This is everything that you're going to need to make the mask. I'm using a cotton t-shirt, a clean one. I'm using a cutter, a rotary cutter or scissors. This right here is template making paper or pattern making paper, or you can just use paper. The reason I'm using this is because uh, I want it to last for a while. Or like I say, you can just use paper and then some form of a straight edge or a ruler and then your cutting mat. I just took the mask down so you can see the difference between me speaking with the mask on, speaking with the mask on, or me speaking with the mask off. I didn't change and you still should hear me pretty well. In order to make the template, the custom template for each person, I'm just using a regular sheet of paper. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a ruler, a measuring tape, and you're gonna measure from the middle of your nose to right here at the beginning of your ear, then from the middle of your nose to under your chin. I already did my measurements, and let's put them on the paper. Now you wanna transfer those markings over to a piece of paper. From the tip of my nose to under my chin, I'm going to add my seam allowance of a half of a quarter inch to whatever your measurement is. For me, my measurement was six and a half, so I added a quarter inch, that's six and three fourths. And then from ear to the tip of my nose was five and a half. Then I'm going to cut that off. Again, you can use scissors or a cutter. Top of your nose to under your chin, you want to find the center. So I just simply fold the paper. And I know that right here is the center. Now from the edge, you're going to come in two inches. And you're going to draw a line from the bottom. You're going to connect that line. And then you're going to draw, you're going to connect that center line. This is what your paper should look like. Then from the back, this is the front. Then from the back, you're gonna come down two inches. And then from the bottom, you're gonna come up one inch. From the first line you drew, you're just gonna connect the lines. And then on the bottom, you're gonna do the same thing. Then for the front, you're also going to do the same thing from the center to the top. And then the center to the bottom. Now, this is what you should be left with. This is a very rough draft of what's going to happen. So now you're going to take and you're going to angle the top. So you're going to somewhat of an angle and then at the bottom you're going to make a much bigger angle. Then you're going to take your scissors and cut all the lines. You know I've just like so many of you I've watched a few YouTube videos myself and I've been inspired by a few YouTubers. 
Some of the things I'm doing, it's point blank what they did and I'm just adding something to it. So I actually will leave links to their video in case you might like theirs as well. So now you are left with this right here. This is the template that you're gonna use to make every mask for your face moving forward. Now you're gonna take your template and lay it on your shirt. Make sure that your shirt is not folded and it's flat. Trace your template around. Do two different traces. So you have two different sets, two patterns, and then you're just going to cut them out and then we'll sew those together. Right here is the sleeve and as you see, my template fits over the sleeve, so don't get rid of your sleeves. And now you need to make your straps. So you just go find the bottom of your shirt and then you're gonna cut an inch strip Okay, take both your strips and cut them at 12 inches or whatever length you want. And if they're joined, go ahead and cut the join. And now off to the sewing. So you take both your patterns and you line them up and you're gonna do a stitch from top to bottom. Just one stitch as close as you can to the edge or about a quarter inch and then you're going to stitch the bottom. So you're just going to do a straight stitch around the top. Then you want to go back and make this look a little neater and you're going to sew a zigzag stitch. Okay, now you're gonna open it up and take two, two of your pieces, and you're gonna sew straight along the bottom from the middle out. And that's a straight stitch. And you're going to do the exact same on the other bottom from the center out. This is what you should be left with pretty much the finished product. Now you're going to attach your straps so. You're going to open it up and take one of your straps and you're going to put it in an inch. You take the top and you put it in an inch. So it looks like that and you're going to sew a straight line down and then you're going to do the exact same to this side. Use pins to hold your straps in the mat so they don't fall out and you have a much cleaner and easier stitch. Sew your straps on. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and go from the top to bottom on both. Okay, you're done. Now let's clean up the straps and put it on. Here's the finished mask. Let's go ahead and put it on. You simply grab it. I'm tying both of them at the same time. The benefit of me having both straps. You can tie them individually or you could tie them both at the same time. The reason I tied them both was just because it makes it a little tighter. But what I also like is, as it's tied, I can just take it down, easily put it back up. So I'm just going to tie the top strap this time. And I'm just tying it like a shoestring. We're all used to that. So with the benefit of having two straps, as you see, I can easily lift it up if I'm in the car by myself, if I wanna drive or eat, I can still have my mask on and access my mouth. Or I tie the bottom 
and because of this little this little stitch I put in it takes a lot of the pressure off of my nose so it's easy to come up it's easy to come down it's very comfortable this is very comfortable we're going to be wearing masks for a long time so we might as well get used to wearing them and in order to get used to wearing a mask the easiest way is to make a mask that's very comfortable and effective if you put in filters this becomes a super mask this is going to represent a filter if you happen to have any this is just stabilizer but again it's just representing a filter so when we sold the bottom we didn't sew the top and you could take your filter and you could put it in here after you put your filters in on both sides you can see that it has more of a rigid form to it as I put it on it really stays off of my mouth even better plus I have some filter like I said this is stabilizer and it's not a filter but it's representing what a filter would do and as you can see it's really staying off of my mouth now here's another benefit of this design I'm going to keep the filter in and this is the stitching that we did I'm going to flip it inside out because my wife didn't like to see the stitching which I understand and as you put it on tell you the truth it feels just as comfortable if not more it's still off of my mouth and it looks a little better so either way it works now there's a lot of videos out there where people are making masks without sewing and I get it you don't have a sewing machine you need a filter and some of those masks work actually there's a few videos that I saw and I'm leave some links to those videos that in my opinion were pretty good if you have a sewing machine and you know someone that has a sewing machine I think it's better to use a sewing machine because the longevity of a mask when you sew it is exponentially longer than a no sew mask plus they just look a little better to me so if you have any questions feel free to hit me up I'll be sure to get at you and we're gonna make it through this we're all in it together you guys have a blessed day